in this video we will configure unicorn right the web server the application server sorry between our python application and the http requests that are incoming right we need a connector between the python application because it's in python and uh, the incoming http requests right so we'll need a server which is unicorn in our case so we will configure that and uh, then we will see if everything is going well so very simply first uh, we'll have to install unicorn right and uh, before that, we'll just install uh, the activate our virtual environment. Now, virtual environment is activated. How do I know? Because of this uh, sign here, and I will just try to see if uh, our application is running with Unicorn. So, Unicorn is sort of capable of running our application. So what I am doing is just uh, like we did python uh, manage.py run server I am doing similar with Unicorn. So Unicorn is not there so I will just install it. So how can I install any python package just by pip installing right so it's installed now now run this. So it's running let's see what do we see here right this is our so we are we see our application right great we don't see the static because of certain configuration i am not going into it right now anyway that configuration will be done using nginx so i am not going into uh, that but very simply what we did was we installed unicorn we first activated our virtual and we installed unicorn using pip install and then uh, ran this command just to see that everything is going well so every step we have to take we have to verify if, if it's working fine because these things are a bit complicated no problem so next we will do is create a socket and a service file for unicorn right so let's do that the so socket file is nothing but a connection between two applications right so here we have nginx as one application and unicorn as the other application so how that uh, communication happen between nginx and unicorn will use a socket so what we can do is I'm just creating a file in the system D directory so system D is a service uh, which helps to run applications in the background right very simply I will just create a simple file okay unicorn.socket let's see and uh, honestly I also don't know too much about this socket file so I will just copy the, the commands written in this uh, link I will keep this link in the description and similar to this I will also create a unicorn service file so this service file is like the configuration file of unicorn very important you have to uh, always look what contents go there you have to understand so there are three sort of boxes here uh, I will just copy the last here okay we'll have to do some changes so this unit is fine in the service we'll just uh, write the user that you are using not very idle to use root user but I'm using uh, in this case also we have to mention the the root directory the working directory that we have in our django project so for my uh, case it's this you have to see what where your uh, directory is and also we have to give the uh, location of the env virtual env or wherever you are running your unicorn from so for my case it's something like this i think Anyway, we'll just look at it root uh, env great and also uh, this one my wsgi file is at this location great let's uh, check if everything is all right after you create a socket you have to start the socket also we have to do this right anytime you uh, change a service file like during one dot service you have to do this okay. I have created a uh, I've started a socket and I will enable this socket 
okay great checking for the status of the socket it's running great and uh, right sock file should be created in this sock let's see great this is also done testing sock activation so this is um, there are two commands to this this is one so argonicon is running great also you can do sudo service unicorn status so this will also give you the status of unicorn right so everything is running green is a very good color right <laughs> running so unicorn is is successfully installed and uh, then we can just go for nginx in the next video okay thank you